Hey YouTubers, what's going on? So today I'm going to show you a project I've been working on, Frank and Amigo. Okay, so here it is. So it's basically an A1200 in a tower case with some good things on it. It's not the best looking cases, I know, but it was the biggest I could find that would fit the board in. CD drive, 32 speed, I think. Not the greatest, does the job. Okay, moving down. There you'll see I've got a PC compatible drive. I actually had to modify it to get it to work. You can find the files on Aminet, but I'll provide a link below of where to obviously get it. Okay, moving around the side. You'll see that I've got a Blizzard 030 accelerator card. I've stuck on a heatsink and stuck on a well, jammed in basically a fan below it just to keep the thing cool because those that know these things run pretty hot and pfft, they're getting quite dear these days in excess of like 300 quid I've seen them on eBay so pfft, I want to, you know, preserve the life of that. So, moving around to the other side you'll see <laughs> yeah, you'll see a lot of cables I apologize, cable management is really poor, but this is just a project, so obviously once I refine everything and get everything working properly, then I could, you know, worry about cable management. So here, where you see the green and the red LED, that's actually a little board that I fabricated, in fact, I'll provide the links for that also. It gives um, my machine like a soft power, which is pretty cool. Right, there, you'll see I've got an Arduino. Now what's that for? Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> I've basically got that wired up to a USB hub and then wired up to the two USBs on the front. And you can see there that I've got a USB mouse and a USB keyboard plugged in. There, right there. Um, they're the joystick ports. I've got them wired into the Arduino and what that's doing is acting like a USB device manager which actually supports PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 game pads but unfortunately for this video I can't show you it because I can't find it so apologies. If you can just see right there where the green and the red wires are they're connected to the Amiga's keyboard controller, which is also going to the Arduino. And what I've done, I've wrote a little program that basically spits out the correct data stream that the Amiga's keyboard controller is expecting. Now for any skeptics, I'm just gonna show that it actually does work. Way it works. And I'll show you the mouse working also, if you don't believe me. Oh, there you go, mouse. Yay, working. Okay, you'll see there, there's a VGA. Now what I've done, I've connected that to the Amiga's RGB output. And it's going into this mini VGA to HDMI converter thing. It's just for now, I want to actually get an Indivision AGA flicker fixer, but yeah. Pfft. It works for now, so I'm not complaining. Okay, I'm gonna show you the screen resolution that I'm running at, which is 640 by 400. I'm actually using the Multiscan productivity driver. Obviously I have to use that because the VGA to HDMI adapter ain't gonna let me run frequencies below like 31 kilohertz. Now I actually bought this for this video. It's a composite and S video um, like USB capture card and it is a complete turd. It doesn't work. So if anyone is thinking about buying one of these, if you're running Windows 10, don't buy it. Now, no Amiga video would be complete without showing it running Doom. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that on right now. 
I'm running it off the CD, so it probably will run a little bit slower than I guess it could do. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you it quickly. Okay. Yep. Doom. Move that. It's actually a cup I got from Barbados. Okay, right, so I'm gonna run this in 320 by 240. Obviously, this is an Amigo, it's only like running at 50 megahertz with an old 30, so I'm not expecting to run it at like, you know, a ridiculous resolution and get like high frame rates. But, you know, just to show you guys. So, there we have it, Doom, on an Amigo. Quite slow, I know, but, um, if you lower the detail and you know make the screen size a little bit smaller you can actually get a reasonable frame rate it will it will be playable it's playable so yeah so that's it uh, stay tuned for more of my ramblings more of me making stuff and yeah just me being me thanks for watching peace